Okay, here we are back in the kitchen again today, and I am making an old recipe. It's called ham loaf, and they believe it, it came, it originated from Germany, which really probably makes a lot of sense since you'll find this in the Amish communities a lot. So if you ever travel through the Amish communities, most of the time ham loaf is on their menu. It is absolutely delicious and it's fairly easy to do. So what ham loaf is made up of is ham and pork. So it's really a one to three combination. It's three times the ground ham with one part ground pork. So if I were done that off camera for you, so we would have this all ready uh, to go. And this recipe calls for one egg. So I'm gonna crack that, put it in there. And then it calls for a half a cup of milk. We have half and half, so that's the reason I'm using half and half. But we're gonna add a half a cup to milk, of milk to that. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna whisk this up a little bit to break that egg up. One fourth cup of ground saltines. You can use breadcrumbs if you like. I prefer saltines. Saltines will go ahead and give it salt in the recipe. So I won't salt this recipe. And then I added one fourth teaspoon of ground garlic and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. That's it. And add that in there and mix that up a little bit. Get that saltines to absorb that milk. And then you're just gonna add your, you know what? I think I'll add it this way. And so we're just gonna add this to the ground meat. So we're gonna mix this up. And yes, I washed my hands before this. And remember why I'm doing this, I line, when I make meatloaf, I line my little crock pot with aluminum foil for easy cleanup. And I oil the foil. So make sure you do that so it doesn't stick quite so bad, okay? And so you just mix this up and make sure you get it all mixed up. It is a little soupy, so be aware of that when you're doing this. And so we have our ham loaf. What am I gonna do? Boom, just drop it right in there, okay? And so I'm gonna set this on high for five hours. At two and a half hours, we need to glaze it. And so how we're gonna glaze it is we're gonna add two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then one half a teaspoon of ground mustard and one tablespoon of water. And just mix that together. I'm not sure that you can see that, but it's a vinegary type mixture. And after this is cooked two and a half hours, half time, then I will put it on top for the other half. You will not believe how delicious it is. And when we're done, I will come back and show you the finished product. I wanted to tell you about the product here that I use to grind up the saltines and the pork and the ham. It is a Ninja and I'm going to link it below because this is probably my most favorite kitchen appliance. So don't miss out looking at this relatively inexpensive and it can do a lot of jobs to save you time in the kitchen. So here it is. We've already dug into it, but it is delicious. And what we did with it tonight was we made sandwiches. So we, we are slicing it up and putting it on bread and eating it. Enjoy.